Hi, I'm Leilan from ESA Education. Today, we're going to investigate the best foods to grow in space. Did you know, on Earth, there are more than 300,000 identified plant species, and the list is growing all the time. Humans grow around 2,000 of these different types of plants from all over the world to produce food. When humans venture further into space, to the moon, and even Mars, they will not have access to fresh food and will need to grow it themselves. Plants are made up of different parts, including roots, stems, leaves, fruit, seeds, and flowers. When we refer to food, we usually split the edible part of the tree into three different categories, seeds, fruits, and vegetables. The definitions used for fruit, vegetable, and seed will depend on whether you're a botanist or a chef. But in general terms, seeds contain all the material a plant needs to produce a new plant. Seeds have shells and baby plants inside them. Scientists think of a fruit as a part of the plant that contains seeds. A fruit is not necessarily sweet. In fact, it might not even be edible at all. The fruit gives energy to the seeds and protects them from harm. Vegetables come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Root vegetables, such as potatoes and radishes, grow under the ground. Leafy vegetables grow above ground. In general, we can think of vegetables as the edible parts of plants. Roots, leaves, stems, and even flowers. Here are three food examples. Oranges, rice, and potatoes. Which one do you think is a seed, a fruit, and a vegetable? Orange is the fruit, rice is a seed, and potato is a vegetable and also the root of the plant. Did you get it right? When ESA and other space agencies talk about growing plants on the moon or Mars, they always imagine the plants in small, controlled compartments. Each plant must produce as much food as possible while not requiring specialized growing conditions. Food for space missions must weigh as little as possible, take up as little space as possible, be nutritionally balanced, tasty, and preferably fast growing. Let's think about our examples again. An orange is a fruit that grows on a tree, and an orange tree can grow up to 10 meters tall. So due to its size, it would not be a good space plant. The rice plant is a grass with thin green leaves and is grown in water, reaching sizes of over one meter tall. Due to its size and the large quantity of water needed to grow it, it's not the ideal plant to grow in space. However, it is one of the candidates to be grown in future space greenhouses due to the high value rice can bring to an astronaut's diet. Finally, a potato plant is about 20 to 30 centimeters high and gives a large yield, meaning a lot of potatoes grow from just one plant. Because they are roots, potatoes grow underground. For these reasons, it's being investigated as a possible space plant. In fact, five small potatoes were already grown in the laboratory on board the Space Shuttle Columbia in 1995. From all the plants on Earth, space agencies have to find the best candidates to grow and eat in space. The factors that would generally be beneficial for a crop grown on a space mission are fast growth, high yield, tasty crop, nutrient-rich crop, easy to grow, non-toxic, no thorns, the inedible parts take up a small volume, and it requires minimal water and energy to grow. Some of the plants that are currently being considered for use in space by the European Space Agency include soybean, potato, basil, soft white wheat, tomato, spinach, lettuce, beetroot, onion, rice, and also spirulina, which is an edible bacterium. You are now ready for the Astro Food Olympics. Investigate the properties of different plants and select your top plants for growing in space. Did you enjoy the Astro Food activity? Then check out ESA Education's Astro Farmer and Astro Crops activities for a more in-depth look at what food astronauts might take to space.